Hey, what's good, everybody? Welcome to another Madden Ultimate Team video. We have a most feared leak. So what I wanted to do is tell you what we know, what's been leaked, and then we're going to go over some of the players to talk about what I think is going to happen and how you can better prepare. Now, um, first off, you know, uh, EA has put this video out, and um, it's, uh, it's a video that shows us players we know are coming out. So here on your right, you see Cameron Jordan. We see Richard Sherman, which is on the left-hand side, which I'm kind of excited for because I have a theme team and I'm hoping he gets up. We have Jair Alexander to your right. We have what looks like to be DeAndre Hopkins to your left. We have Henry Ruggs III, the man Aaron Donald, and then we have the most feared. So this is a video that they put out now we don't know exactly what's gonna happen right we do know that they are going to have um a troy palomalu which is supposedly scary um what is it scary sharp so you have to assume that they're going to have a, a you know a scary fast a scary sharp and a scary strong now are there going to be other masters they haven't leaked yet that we don't know about I don't know, but as of now, it looks like all of these players will possibly be a 92, which leads me to believe that there's going to be a, a master for all three. That may be hopeful thinking. It would be cool if they had a master for both Scary Sharp, Scary Strong, and, uh, uh, you know, for Scary Fast. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. You already look at, you know, some of the, uh, some of the players that have gotten upgrades already. We're going to go take a look at a few of them. I know that their cards have risen in price. So when I look at, uh, let, let's look at Aaron Donald first, right? So we'll look at Aaron Donald. And I think Aaron Donald is a name that most people are, are, are excited for. He's a card that gets a good, you know, good card every year. I want to say a few years ago, it was an actual um, LTD. But his power up has already gone up for 30K. Um, I'm not going to jump on it just yet. Now, let's look at his regular card. His regular card is going for 90K. However, if you have an 88 to 89 power pass, you can use it on him. But you have to assume that he already has gotten up to an 89 because of the Team of the Week standout. So all of these stats go up by one. He's going to have at least on, on, on this card, I would say if you give him a plus three or four, he's going to hit over 90 blocks and 90 power move maybe over 90 finesse move his speed may go up by three if that so not the best but he is going to be a good card this is a card i anticipate a lot of people going after um the other cards that i look at that may be pretty good is uh, uh the jair alexander so let's go take a look at him jair Now, I don't know if he will be a more than likely a scary fast player, but his power-up's already going up to 14K. He has an 82 base card, so let's look at his stats. I think that this card, if he's a 92 and he was already an 86, 86 speed at an 82 is actually very good speed. So let's just say you give him a plus five or six, you got to think he's going to be at least 91 speed, give or take. And then when you power him up, 92, 93, 94. So potentially this card power up can get up to 94 speed with some sort of like, a, a, you know, sh um, sprinter or, um, you know, acrobat shaker or something like that. But this card looks like it'll be decent. Again, EA with their man cover cornered themes. This card more than likely is going to get hit 90, man. He will not hit the zone threshold unless they super boost his zone and only give him a few boosts on his man coverage stats. But Jair Alexander, I think, is going to be a good corner. Last year, he was in the um, November Thanksgiving promo. No, no, he was in the, uh, I want to say, the Christmas promo. So he's coming a little early this year. Uh, but he looks like a pretty good card. And then... Um, it's i think that richard sherman will probably be one of the pieces for scary sharp i don't necessarily see him for scary strong but his power up is going for 11k and his card the one thing i don't like about him i feel like 
he plays very good. I remember two years ago, I had him up to 99 speed on a theme team with 99 agility, 99 zone, and 99 man. That card was phenomenal. Um, but here, he only has 81 speed. So he has 86 zone, 79. So if they gave him... Man, I honestly see EA doing something like giving him 85 or 86 speed, which is not very good. I think that if anything, you can use him as like a, um, you know, covering like a hard flat or a cover two system, but he will get burned over the top. If I had my way, I would want them to at least boost his speed up absolute minimum 87. I mean, make this card usable. He at 6'3", this card would be amazing. If they gave him at least 88 speed, which I think is asking for a little much, but 88 speed, you boost it up to 89, and then you get him up to a 90, and then on the theme team, possibly 92. This, this card, it's, it's gonna be tough to say what they do, right? Uh, EA has a tendency. You know what, I will say this. Uh, this year, I feel like they did a lot of people justice. Um, normally, they start off slow, but I feel like we have a lot of 90 plus speeds already. So you never know what they're going to do. They could boost him up. And uh, here we have the rookie. He has a uh, only a 75, but this card looks like it'll probably be pretty fast because his 75 card has 89 speed. Wow. That's actually pretty good. Uh, this is a card whose route running and everything may be low, but he'll probably be super fast. The only thing I don't like, he'll be, he's 5'11". So if you put Route Technician on this card, it may be a glitch. We will see. And then you have Cameron Jordan, who I'm not excited about, but he's good for the game. It's good that we get a, you know diversity. Uh, and then uh, 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 DeAndre Hopkins will be another card that gets a good boost and uh it's it's interesting because i would think you know i would think that they would make him usable let's take a look so deandre hopkins currently has an 87 overall and I, i'm glad that they put him in the promo because the truth is this is a guy I would fear, man. If I had to game plan for him, for this game plan for this guy, he 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 is a he is a nightmare out there. The guy catches everything. I mean, he could beat you deep, he could beat you short. Uh, but he only has 84 speed. Actually, not that much faster than Sherman, which is crazy to me. And uh, his route running are all pretty low. Catching is good, jumping is high, but you gotta think that they'll probably give him. If they give him a plus five, he'll have 89 to 90 speed. I don't see them giving him 90 speed. I think at best, we're looking at an 89 speed DeAndre Hopkins. And then on the theme team, you could possibly boost him up. But uh, these are the cards that they went with and that we know of right now. And uh, when we look at some of the other cards today, uh, since I got it on the screen, I'll just show you. We have two limiteds out there. Uh, we have a uh, Marlon Humphrey with 90 speed, 91 acceleration, 85 agility, and you guessed it, 93 man coverage with only 85 zone. Crazy on what EA is doing. I don't know if it's biased at this point or if it's intentional. If they want the game to be played uh, with man or if they're forcing us to run the ball, I have no idea. But the second LTD, Ryan Ramshek at 87 strength, 94 awareness, 93 pass block, very good, 90 run block. So currently he is the highest rated uh, right tackle. And then lastly, here is a Troy Palomalu, uh, 90 speed, 92 acceleration, 89 tackle, 92 play rec, 91 pursuit, 78 man coverage, 90 zone coverage, 90 power. Now, Troy's cards always play very good. Am I excited about this card? Honestly, no. I feel like the Derwin James is better. And he's going to be way cheaper than this card. Derwin James is, what, 6'3", hits 90, man, 90 zone. Even the Jamal Adams, but Jamal Adams, you have to use a power pass. So at least they're giving us diversity with what uh, we can do. But this is what we know so far. Remember, there's a stream today at 7. They're going to be going over everything in detail. 
I would say, please be patient. Don't go crazy. Don't go selling off your team. That window already left us. And you never know. The promo may be good. It may not be that good. I do expect that there's going to be other big names that we don't know about. I honestly don't think any of these are the master. I think these are going to be pieces that go into the master, which is good for us. Because if I have to put, you know, like, like a Troy Palomalo, if I have to put an Aaron Donald and, you know, get like an Aaron Donald and a Jair is out in the back, hey, that's cool with me. But stay patient. It comes out tomorrow. So that's what we have for you. Again, this is E2 Times. Uh, like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you're excited about. Until next time, peace. We're out.